God. Dog's still yapping. Been like that for an hour and a half now. Just yap, 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 yap. <sighs> anyway, welcome back to another uh, ranting reverend or reverend of rant. Whichever you want to call it, I don't care. And I'm blurry. Of course I'm blurry. Hey, camera. Piece of crap. All right. Let's hope that works. Anyway. So, I mentioned in a bonus content post uh, about a week ago, I think it was. Maybe a week and a half ago. Um, that I would tell the story behind the, uh, Henry Rollins poster that I have up in my, uh, in my storage room where my writing desk is. Well, I've been a fan of Henry Rollins for quite a long time. Um, you know, his music, his spoken word him as a person, you know, he's just been an inspiration to me. <clears throat> and, you know, I've, I've always wanted to see him live. I have pretty much all of his books, all of his spoken word albums, a uh, couple of his DVDs. Um, so, in 2012, I believe it was... When I saw a poster pop up at, uh, you know, WNC, the college I was going to at the time, uh, announcing that he would be in my fucking town, you bet your sweet ass I went, you know. And as soon as I saw it, I called up the ticket place and said, two please. <laughs> Anywhere, don't care where, uh, just two tickets please. And of course I got nosebleeds. Whatever. Um, so, I looked online at average, you know, poster prices to buy at the event. Um, you know, pre-signed. And I I saw they were like $25, $35, $50 for, you know, a good size roller poster. Your typical poster size. I just dropped 80 bucks on, you know, two tickets to go see the show. I am a broke-ass college student. Um, I'm only working part-time. So, it was, uh, it was not something I could do. I couldn't afford a poster. So, the day of the show... I, it was on a Saturday, I believe it was, a Friday or Saturday. Um, I waited until an hour before the show. I went to the college and I found that one poster. Uh, it was taped up to a, a light post. It had rained a couple of times while it was posted, but it was still there and it was still in decent condition. <clears throat> so I uh, used my pocket knife, cut the tape away, and removed the poster, folded it up, and put it in my pocket. Then I went to the show, thinking, there's no way, you know, there, there's no way he's going to sign it, but I'm going to keep this as a memento. So we get to the show, and it goes on for... At least 25 ass-numbingly wonderful hours. No, I'm kidding. It was like two and a half or three and a half. Um, but when you're sitting there listening to Henry Rollins speak, you don't give a shit. <laughs> um, the show was amazing. You know, he, uh, he had, he wore his pretty standard get-up, you know, the... 
the jeans. I think it was actually black jeans. The gray t-shirt. He had his microphone cord wrapped around his hand and he was holding it like this. And the signature, what I call the Henry Rollins sweat drip. Um, every 10 to 15 seconds or so, a drip of sweat would just fly off of his elbow. Just non-stop throughout the show. Um, you can tell this guy does the one does this for a living two does this because he enjoys what he's doing and three is thoroughly fucking suffering up on that stage <coughs> it, it it's got to be you know this this you know transformative process uh he undergoes for every town he's in because you know as he stated he lives to be on the stage you know um, but during the capitalism tour, he did not hold anything back. Of course, he used, uh, milder language. Uh, don't particularly know why, because every other show I've seen him do, he's just on a fucking rage, throwing F-bombs everywhere. Um, but it didn't detract from the show at all. You know, he, um, he can entertain... Yeah, no matter what his restrictions are. So, you know, ten hours after arrival, we finally stand up. All the blood rushes to my butt. Um, I, I finally regain feeling in my legs. Um, I've been, I, I was taking pictures with a shitty old camera at the time, trying to keep the flash off, but once or twice it actually, uh, uh, the flash self-activated, um, old camera. I don't have the, uh, I, I don't actually have the, um, CF, uh, disc that it was on. That sucks. But anyway, so yeah, we, um, we stood up, we walked outside and I'm lighting my cigarette and I look over to my to the right of the exit as you're leaving there are people lining up uh near the back entrance uh into the the green room <coughs> and so I'm like okay what's going on over here I put out my cigarette because I I don't like smoking around large crowds it's it's rude. But I put my cigarette out. I walk up to the crowd. And the green room door opens. And out, stands, uh, out steps this, this strangely angry short little man with gray hair and this just mm, look on his face. And he sees this crowd of people and he lightens up. It's it's like a beam of sunshine shoots out of his fucking face when he smiles. Because it's an unexpected thing. <laughs> when Henry Rollins smiles, you get a sense that either he's actually happy or he's about to fuck some shit up. So, I'm standing in the crowd and he's, uh, he's calling people out of the crowd... Um, into the center of the crowd. It, it's formed a circle around him by this point. He points, he says, come here. And he allows people to chat with him for a couple of minutes, take a photo if they want to, and, you know, be on their merry way. So I'm, I'm standing there for a good 15 minutes or so, and then he swings his arm around at me and, uh, and my wife. And... <laughs> I do this. He says, it goes like, you know, does that. And uh, so I walk forth and I'm, if you've ever heard him talk about meeting um, uh, uh, Iggy Pop, you know, where he's, he, he goes up, he's trying to think, okay, I'm going to say this, I'm going to be professional. I'm not going to make an asshole out of myself. I'm not going to be a spastique. <laughs> and then it just fucking happens anyway. 
That's what it felt like. Because I, I don't know what I said. Um, I, I think I said something like, uh, Henry, you're a great inspiration to me, blah, blah, blah. But I, I don't know if that came out. Um, it may have just been, ah, ah, and the wife took a photo. Um, after we took the photo, I said, uh, Mr. Rollins, sir, um, I have something I would like you to sign. And he said, he pulls out a Sharpie. Um, I, I was always curious, is that the same Sharpie he wrote on the bomb lid? Anyway, uh, so I pull out the poster that I took and he looks at it, looks at me. And I just see anger in his eyes, and it's just, <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck. My nose is going to get dislocated. He says, very, very plainly, you know there are posters in the front lobby for sale, right? Uh-huh. You know the pre-signed, right? Uh-huh. Why are you bringing me this promotional poster? Uh, well, Mr. Rollins, I, um... I'm a broke-ass college student who is a huge fan of yours, and I spent the last of my paycheck to come see your show. I wanted some sort of memento, so I went to the school one hour before uh, the show started, and I, I very carefully removed the the poster from the lamp post that it was stationed to, and I folded it up into my pocket and because uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to have you sign it. Um, but... Yet here I am. And he says, so why don't you just go back in there? I'll, I'll even give you the money to, to go get one of those posters. I said, no, no. If there's one thing you taught me, sir, it is that the DIY punk ethic is still alive and well in America. He looked at me, he just glared right into my fucking soul. It was almost painful, but eh. Yeah, I'm six foot one standing next to him. He's not all that intimidating. No, I'm fucking kidding. He he could definitely bust out my fucking kneecaps and dislocate my face in seven different places. He took it. He signed it. He wrote, thank you, and handed it back to me. And then the wife went up. You know, they had a few minutes conversation. I took a photo of them. And that was that. Um, he had mentioned that he had never done a show in Carson City. Which is odd because Carson City is the capital of Nevada. Not Las Vegas, mind you. But, and, you know, but he also said that he would like to return. I remember... Um, I, I remember that night very, very clearly. Um, because that was the night I met one of my gods. So. There's a story of how I met Henry Rollins and got a promotional poster signed and uh, probably almost died. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Um, more content coming. Auf Wiedersehen.